Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Andreas Torres YGO with 680 rating versus Moody B with 809 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video. And before we hop in, make sure to go ahead and check out Andreas Torres's YouTube channel, link down below at the very top of the description, and then hopping right in. We're going to see Andreas Torres when the rock, paper, scissors shoot. Decides to go first, 60 versus 43. We have Edge M Chain, Shrouded Dragon, Cartasia, Allure, and Mercarier. Then they have Rika Glamour, Loki, Lone Fire, Unexpected Die, and then Sewing. So we have Rika going up against Branded. Okay. Uh, they're going to activate Shrouded Dragon, Dump Fallen of Albaz, and then put back, draw into Lubellion. That's pretty good. It's actually really good. They're going to Lubellion to grab Magma there. Oh, uh, I'm not quite sure why you grab Magma over Sornir. Oh, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what they plan on doing exactly with this Mercarier. They draw Lost, Quem, and then they're gonna go Mercarier, Effect of Search. They're gonna grab Shrouded Dragon, okay, that card doesn't do anything though. Activate Lost, Cartasia, Special, and then they're gonna go Normal Summon Quem, because like, you know, no Magma Mud draw or anything. If we just have Sornir, like, Sornir plus Cartasia is Branded Fusion, so like, yeah, I don't know, like, that's pretty good. But they're gonna go Quem, Dump, Branded Fusion, and then activate Cartasia effect, go into Grand Goyle. But it worked out, they drew Quem plus Lost, which was really strong. They're gonna get all these effects now. Uh, dump Sornir, grab Blazing Cartasia, Special Summon back Blazing Cartasia, grab Patchwork, and then Sornir, Dump Retribution, activate Patchwork, go grab Polly, and then grab Edgem. Okay. Uh, banish Edgem, summon out Magma. I wonder if they're playing any of the synchros. Uh, then they're gonna activate Magma effect, tribute it, bring out Lubellion, Lubellion effect, bring out Branded Beast, Retribution, grab Branded Fusion, <clears throat> and then activate Branded Fusion. They said, How's Branded Fusion added? Yeah, the trap. So, uh, they're gonna use Branded Fusion, dump Fallen of Albaz, Gimmick Puppet, bring out Lubellion. And then Lubellion effect, the opponent can't even respond. They're going to bring out the Albion, deciding to put back the Quem there. I don't know. I actually don't agree with that. Can't you just, like, put back the Grand Goyle instead? And then that's better, because Quem's better on fielding Grand Goyle. Maybe, probably not. They might play the Synchro, and this can also bring out Quem sometimes. Uh, they draw Sunseed, Twin, bad draw for them. And then, I mean, they, they're just going to Gimmick Puppet. I mean, that's just game one, right? Uh, then they're going to go Magma. Effect. Oh, they also forgot to search off Magma last turn. Yeah, okay. But... The Gimmick Puppet, that's game one. On the game two, we're going to see Rika go first. We got Patchwork, Lava Golem, Opening, Dark Magician, and Opening. Yeah, we're going to need a hand like this where we have access to Chimera, plus like a going second card that's good. And then they have Primula, Sewing, Lily, Lone Fire, and Con Con. So, Normal Summon Out, Lone Fire. Lone Fire Effect, Tribute, Bring Out Loki. And then they're going to go Lily, Special Summon, Equip the Lone Fire, and then Lily Effect, Send to go Search, grab the Disc Call, see them. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to set up the Therion King before they do anything else. Activate the Therion King, Special Summon, Equip, Link, and then Effect goes Search, grab Sewing, so they play multiple. And then Activate Sewing, Summon out the Sunseed Twin. Effects. So special summon back out from the graveyard, gain a thousand back, summon out the healer from the extra deck, and then healer effect plus 300 life points, and then they can make Jasmine, I mean super standard stuff, link one, link one, gain 300, and then we're gonna get Jasmine effect, go search, and then Jasmine's gonna grab out Mudan, activate Jasmine, tribute, bring out Petal, and then activate Primula, Special Summon, Petal Effect, grab Snowdrop. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess Mudan can grab Glamour. Activate. Tribute, bring out Effect. And then that's going to grab Rika Glamour. And then activate Glamour, just go search, grab Princess. 
Yo, uh, special summon out the Rika Princess now, and then use those, go into Strena, Strena effect, attach, adds back Lone Fire Blossom, and then Link, summon, effect, bring back, and that's just gonna let them make the Link 4, the Benji, make the Benji, and then activate Snowdrop, tribute Strena, special summon, special summon, Strena effect to XYZ, and then put itself underneath, so bring out the Sacred Tree, and then Snowdrop effect, make them level 8, go into Teardrop, Lone Fire effect, Tribute, Benji, bring out Rose Whip, and then they're going to activate the Con Con Sacred Tree effect. They can go Con Con, Set Sheet, Teardrop, Tribute, the Lone Fire, oh, okay. I mean, this can Tribute any monster on field, right? Okay. I guess just doesn't want to do it. I mean, this is a pretty good end board. Uh, technically you could use this, tribute that, and then special summon back out Benji from the grave, but this is just more follow-up. And then, pass. Oh, they draw Dark Ruler. Okay, okay. So activate Dark Ruler no more. Activate Patchwork. Go grab Polly. Go grab Edgem. So, they still have Princess plus Rika Sheet plus follow-up. And then Lava Golem over the two XYZs, activate opening, uh, they're going to discard opening, bring out Alibur, and then Alibur effect, go grab Branded Fusion, activate Poly, and then use three, go into Guardian Chimera, and then they're going to go activate Guardian Chimera one, edge him two, search patchwork, and then draw and pop, they draw Cartesia, Poly, Poly's not the greatest draw there. And then pop con con so that way they can no longer attribute our monsters for anything. And then branded fusion, dump fallen of Albaz, Lubellion, bring out Albion, and then activate Albion effect, banish to bring out Dragoon, and then Dragoon effect to pop. Yeah. Oh, uh, they don't take any damage because Dark Ruler. And then beat over Lava Golem, just beat over the whole field. Yep. Yeah. Um. It was probably correct to actually leave them with Lava Golem, right? So that way they can't use Petal, because they have to have all plans. So, like, you cut them off of this by letting them have Lava Golem. I mean, Lava Golem's a little bit weird, though. Could hurt. Yeah, bring out Lubellion. And then Lubellion effect, but they still have so many more plays to activate Polly now. And then Polly's gonna go into Grand Goyle, and then Grand Goyle one, lost two. Like, they're still setting up more interruptions. They're gonna grab Mercarrier, dump Ash, and then End Phase, Ash Dragon, summon out Quem, and then Quem effect to dump Fallen of Albaz. And then they're gonna go Albion effect to set Retribution. And then Cartesia, add back. And then they're going to go Rika, Sheet, target Quem, so that way it can't activate. Wait. Why? Is there... Wait, why? Does it say all cards? No. I don't get it. Why did we negate Quem? Wait. I'm confused. Okay, so they're going to Dragoon Negate. I don't know why they just put back. <clears throat> this doesn't negate. This says, uh, you can tribute one plant monster. Players cannot activate that face-up monster's effects on the field this turn. So, like, you know, it already activated the dump. It does that on summons, so that will still go through. But then, obviously, they can't activate the other effects for the rest of the turn. But I don't get why they did that. Uh, the Dragoon negate the petals so that way it doesn't come out. Oh, maybe they were trying to bait the Dragoon negate with this? Yeah, that's just never happening. Uh, they draw a bell. I mean, looking at their graveyard follow-up, they have Benji. They have Princess. They have Twin. They have Petal. They have Sewing. Those, those are all five of the graveyard effects. Obviously, they're not all follow-up. They're going to activate Sewing and then Chain Retribution to go ahead and negate that. And then also putting back our extra X stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, then they're going to activate Benji to Banish to Special Summon Out. And you can only use one effect of this per turn, so they can't use the effect to go ahead and bounce. Um, 
said how you summon the link through its own effect yep also a lot of people don't know this about the link but it can only target effect monsters so you can't use this to bounce back like a nib token or anything but they're gonna go grand goyle effect because that was brought out through its own effect then they're gonna bring out lulu and then quem effect bring out blazing cartasia and then blazing cartasia effect to fuse in the dragos to paleo and then new chain link lost one go grab shrouded Okay, oh, it decides to not activate Lulu to make our monsters gain 5. So I guess they could crash or just beat over Quem. Yeah, beating over Quem is completely fine though. End phase, grab back Cartesia, draw Lava Golem. That is one thing about this deck though. Once it starts going like this, like the Cartesia free during every end phase is crazy. Dragoon try to pop, sewing the Banish to Protect. Shrouded Dragon, dump Branded in High Spirits, put back, draw into a lure. Retribution, grab Branded Fusion. Like, now this is another thing that's going to come back during every end phase. Um, they're going to Bell the Retribution. Okay. I mean, they could Dragoon Negate. They decide not to. Activate Lure Darkness, draw Banish Mercarrier. Mercarrier, grab Blazing Cartesia. Okay. And then activate fusion deployment, bring out Fallen of Albaz, Fallen of Albaz, go into Mirror Jade, uh, chain effect, chain Dragos to Palea, negate, and then, yep, just go into Mirror Jade, uh, battle phase, yep, attack for game, GG's, GG's. So we're gonna end up seeing Andres Torres wind over Moody on their Rika Sun Avalon deck. I mean, they opened, you know, Dark Ruler. Lava Golem didn't really end up mattering, but it was mainly just like Dark really doing so much and then going for Chimera and the Chimera allowed them to just pop the field spell and kind of out everything from there and draw in the good cards. And then they still had Brainded Fusion for like the post Chimera line. But seeing how long the match was, uh, the match was about 31 minutes long. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.